Hey guys, um, Jack Squad, YouTube family, back again, um, back again. Um, everybody, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, y'all. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to grow. And I, I, you know, like I said, I realized that I probably need to go live more often. It's just that my schedule was so very, very crazy. Now, if you didn't see the previous video, I have a new job. I'll start Wednesday. The hours are more, are better. And I don't have to work on the weekends, right? Wonderful. Okay, and I get paid a little more, so I'm happy about that. Um, so it's working out loud. You know, sometimes, you know, y'all, you have to just go through the storm. You just have to walk through it. Just have to walk through it, right? And that's what I'm doing, walking through it. Now, I'm an expert at it. I'm definitely an expert at it. But it gets tiresome sometimes, right? So, um, you know, that's what's going on with me. But at any rate, um, uh... All of my um, social media stuff, as well as my email, my cash app is down in the description box. If you want a t-shirt or whatever, it's down there. All my information, just send me your name, full address, um, size and color, and I'll get it right to you. I got small, medium, large, and extra large. No more two X's. Um, so I'm going to discuss and review the last part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. Now, y'all, you know, when Real Housewives of Atlanta came out, I just loved it. So, because I'm all, y'all know I watch reality, but I, I think um, OC was the first and I loved it. So, when they got a black group, I was like, oh, yes, right? And, you know, what bothers me sometimes on these reality shows, because y'all know I'm pro-black, is that when we ever we have an all-black cast, they got to throw one white woman in there. Some kind of way. And you might not see it every time, but you're going to see it. Like on Marriage of Medicine, it's... I got to talk about marriage medicine. Never to get on my nerve. I don't understand how they allow her to do that. But um, they got Carrie on marriage medicine. They did have Kim on Real Housewives of Atlanta until I guess they realized we we don't we're not gonna do that no more, right? But we don't need. Listen, we got all black cast. Let's have all black cast, right? Let's see things from a black perspective, whatever those perspectives are, right? That's all I gotta say about that. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> Didn't really give much. Uh, it's the same thing as before and before. Um, we all know we got a better understanding of Marlo, um, which I appreciate her uh, being open about that because that's the first part to healing. Um, you know, um, as y'all know, I you know I had fought, I lived in foster homes too, so it's I didn't I didn't I was never outside like her. You know, I never had to be, but I was always. Uh, it was always right there. I could, one wrong step, I'd be out there. You know what I'm saying? So you, you live with that, right? Um, and so that, you know, I'll talk about that another time, but that takes a lot on your mental and how you act and how you react to things, right? Um, as we all know, you know, your childhood plays a big part in your adulthood. But when you are um, foster or if you, I hate the word foster, uh, I I hate that word. I hate it. I've always hated it because uh, it's a stigma to me. But anyway, um, when you grow up like that, um, you tend to hold on to things because I do the same thing. You know, I, I shop. That's what I do when I can. That's my thing. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke weed. I don't do drugs. I don't drink alcohol. I'm not, uh, you know, I don't have any habits. That I like to shop, right? I like to have things. And that's because if you didn't have you know, growing up, like I told you our story about the shoes. But anyway, um, we got a better understanding of her, right? Um, Marlo, I think, was saying a lot of things because she first probably used to say whatever comes out of her mouth. But I also think she was trying to make good TV because when they called her on it on this part three, she immediately apologized and explained. You know, some, some stuff she was saying, girl, I just said stuff. You know how you say stuff when you're mad, which we all do that. If you ain't, you have. You might not do it now, but um, I get, I got that right. And she was, she was attacking Todd, and Todd and Candy seemed to still be upset about it. Seems like to me, Candy ain't used to nobody being mad with her. That might happen when you run an empire. You know, everybody do what you tell them to do. Um, yeah, that that might happen. But uh, I think genuinely, Marlo wants to be okay with everyone. You can't be okay with Kenya. That's not, she's not going to allow that, right? Um, she's just not going to allow that. I just want Kiva, Kiva, 
Kenya, because I was going to say evil. She's an evil spirit to me. Her spirit emits evilness, right? You can see it in her eyes. You know, when she's talking, you can see it. Like, I don't know if she's acting, because I've read some comments in other blogs that, you know, she's an actress. I don't know if she's acting. I don't think she's acting. I think that's who she is, right? Because um, where are her friends outside of the show? Um, let's see. Drew. Drew. I don't know how old Drew is, but Drew needs to just grow up a little bit and speak up. But when she speaks up, she speaks wrong sometimes, right? You got to be you got to be witty when you're dealing with these type of women. You got to be real witty. You got to be on your P's and Q's. Now Sonya, Sonya said uh, she enjoyed it. I don't know if we'll see her back again. Uh, but she said she enjoyed it and it's a sisterhood and so on and so forth. Uh, Kenya, I've already spoken on Kenya. I don't, I don't care for Kenya. Uh, you know, Candy and Todd. Um, now, let me tell y'all what I also saw. Drew's husband, Ralph. Ralph. Ralph angers easily, you know. And he, I guess Sheree had said some things about him. But see, it, when you're on a reality show, people going to talk. That's what they do. I just don't think you could take it too personal. And if somebody says, okay, I'm sorry, I was mad, then just leave it at that and go go ahead on because you're on the show, you're getting your back. That's just what I think, right? Um, but Drew's, not Drew, Ralph, and, he, and I wanted him to say more about protecting his wife like Sonya's husband did. I, I can't remember his name. Very handsome man. Like Sonya's husband did, right? Um... Don't know who going to be there next year. And you know what I found interesting? They did not, you know, usually they bring the friend of the show. They did not bring Magneta on there. Was Magneta getting paid? They didn't bring her on there. They did not bring her on there. I thought I was. I thought maybe they would do it in part two. They didn't, if they did, I missed it. They didn't bring her on there and ask her any questions. Nor did they bring uh, Sheree friend. Well, she, well, we only seen her a couple times, but I just knew they was going to bring Magneta. Magneta was going around with them. Now, what I found out was way back in the early season of us being introduced to Marlo, they went on a trip and she paid for her trip. And Todd mentioned that. See, listen, they had to dig real deep to bring that up. And Marlo, I liked, she didn't let it bother. She said, I did? I don't remember. And Eddie said, yeah, you just paid for your trip. You didn't pay for the room. She was like, oh, okay. You know, but they were trying to attack her with that. And she was thirsty. She bought, Todd said she bought her way onto the show. I think there's something deep-seated. Well, I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. They went out their way, or maybe they went out their way, but they came up with a show uh, proposal for Marlo, and she rejected the, the contract, you know, because I saw that on Fucking Geneva because he was going to be on the show to him, Rita Chappelle, somebody else. And they may still be mad with that because it looks like when they get mad, they stay mad. It looks like. I don't know, right? Um... But anyway, it didn't really give much. I just hope they revamp. You know, because the original ladies, Phaedra, Portia, Nene, Sheree, you know, they, they gave. They gave, right? Cynthia, Cynthia didn't give much, but it was, it was a better mix. I want them to get a better mix. Now, they talked to Sheree and Sheree, because, you know, this is filmed prior. And she was talking about her, um, she by Sheree line and what day it was going to launch and so on and so forth. We now know that that has become a disaster. And she didn't do it. See, and I'm watching her. And they were saying, oh, yeah, we were so proud of you. We just loved it. And she thanked everybody for being there, supporting her, and so on and so forth. And she still was implying that she did the designs. That's the only part I got with her. You was like, it can't took me a long time. And that's the part. Because that's a lie. You know? Um, I wouldn't care if you got them from the next door neighbor. Just don't say that I took a long time. Like you was pinning the paper with these designs. Because they were praising her like those designs were beautiful. And they kept saying that like, she didn't design anything. We now know. She went to Sheen, which is okay. You buy wholesale, sale retail. It's okay. That's the American way. That is the American way. But to say you designed it and you didn't, that's the problem that I have and everybody else has. And then you weren't really prepared. But I did see that Sheree, because uh, it came across my Google, that she has signed on with a management uh, company. She now wants to act. Now, I don't know if Sheree can act. 
Maybe she can. A lot of ladies I see acting. Lisa Wu, I see a lot of them acting. A lot of them be acting, right? Even all, everybody acting, right? Good platform to start on a reality show. So we'll see. We will see. But I don't know if acting is her niche. Reality TV is her niche. But I don't know if acting is her niche. But we'll see. Hope for the best, right? So anyway, y'all, it didn't give all that much, like I said. I got to get in here and uh, start writing. So, y'all, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you want to reach out to me, you want to buy a t-shirt, all of my stuff is down in the description box. Email, cash app, social media sites, all of that, okay? Um, so, anyway, guys, um, everybody be cool and uh, stay safe. I was seeing the other day that there are three new variants of COVID. Like, hey, is this going to ever end? I ain't heard too much about the monkeypox. Hopefully, that's going away. But uh, just be careful. Cover your mouth. Bye-bye.